just going to do a quick video um, regarding a 1.6 TDI Golf uh, 2010 CAYC engine. Uh, it's the 77 kilowatt, slightly different than the CAYB. Uh, it's got the uh, manifold flap runner. Um, this came in with a misfire and a code relating to open circuit and an injector. Uh, so we changed this out and the client didn't want to buy a new injector we got a second hand injector for him um, obviously always change your uh, nozzle washer o-ring etc and always a new uh, stretch bolt on the injection clamp and torque to uh, to specs I think it's something like 8 newton meters by 180 degrees but that's very important it's torqued correctly um, the next thing to do is to code the injector with the offset code and the Siemens Conti it's like a six digit code you won't see it on this I'd say it's up on the top there um, so you use VCDS that's what I'm using um, into engine and the first thing we're going to need to do is select security access um, put in that code for adaption and enabling uh, adaption channel injector 2 I'm already after doing this put in your new code uh, select do it go back Close controller. Best to cycle the ignition for 30 seconds. The next issue that you may have will be it's possible you'll have some rough running. This is of course because we've selected um, we're after putting in an offset code to the ECU which slightly adapts the pulse duration and the, the pre and post injection cycles re relating to that code but it's assuming that the injector it's a brand new injector and of course the injector if it's second hand it can't account for wear so the best thing to check if you do have some rough running is you should check it anyway go into measuring blocks and look for injection quantity deviation and uh, now i've done this already i just uh, Start up the engine for a second. So we can see they're all pretty much within spec. More importantly, they're all quite close to each other. Initially, injector two, the one I changed, had a positive value of maybe up to plus, plus two, which was... Uh, it was overfueling in relation to the other injectors. Um, so what do we do? Uh, you're going to get probably uh, excessive fuel consumption and you're certainly going to get diesel knock, a little bit of diesel knock, particularly when cold. The engine's going to be very rough. Um, there is an option for this. Um, I'll just switch off the engine again. What we need to do is reset those values. So. We can go into basic settings and select adapting injector minimum deviation quantity. Now there's a lot of confusion about using this and the reason is one thing that can happen is if you select it, the engine needs to be running. If you select it straight away, the, the um, algorithm will run, uh, that subroutine will run and it'll run indefinitely. It will tell you to press the brake and the accelerator and it'll go through its motions. It'll never, it'll, it'll end up in an infinite loop and it doesn't do it correctly. The best thing to do is to ensure that you have to have an adaption uh, in the security axis enabled again and it's best to start from scratch. So what you need to do, go out of the controller, close controller. Okay. Cycle ignition, completely off, key out. Wait for the ECU 
to go into sleep mode again. At the moment you can hear the throttle PWM signal is still making some noise. Wait for that to end. Okay. Engine on. Select engine. Okay. Security access. Two seven nine seven one. Accepted. Basic settings. Adapting injector minimum quantity deviation. I'm not going to select go because I've done this already. How you'll know it's correct, it'll ask you first to depress the clutch pedal and the brake pedal, then to release them, then press the throttle to the floor and the subroutine will run automatically on its own. You can leave it run, hop out of the car. It will take about five minutes uh, to cycle through what it's doing. It will blip the throttle maybe 20 times. I presume it's doing some type of averaging and uh, it'll come up finished correctly at the end. So I hope this helps. Cheers.